Welcome to Byline Investigates. My name is Graham Johnson and today I'm going to report on an employment tribunal in Scotland in which a former night editor at the Times newspaper is suing a former employer in a gender discrimination case. Catherine O'Donnell claims that she was unfairly dismissed from the Times in January 2018 and before that she was passed over for promotions and unfairly treated in the newsroom. So Catherine O'Donnell is a transgender woman and she is suing the Times because she claims that because of her gender uh, she was unfairly discriminated uh, in the Times newsroom and she claims that she was passed over for promotion and she claims that in January 2018 she was unfairly dismissed and she gave examples of uh, dozens of stories in which she says that transgender people were discriminated against and were, were written about in, in a biased and an accurate way and she claims this was part of the culture at the times under the current editor of the times john witherow in his evidence john witherow says that he treats all of his employees equally and that he didn't discriminate against Catherine O'Donnell, he didn't unfairly dismiss her, and that in the stories that are published by him in the, in the Times, that they are not biased against transgender people or transgender issues. So we're not gonna go into any further detail on this tribunal today because it's an ongoing court case. However, we are gonna explore the, the workplace culture at uh, Times newspapers uh, in a bit more detail. And we're gonna to talk to a man called John Ford. John Ford's name may be familiar to you because he's made videos on Byline Investigates. Over the past couple of years, he's been whistleblowing on criminal activity, which took place, he claims, at the Sunday Times when he was a private investigator. Between 1995 and 2010, when it was edited, by John Witherow. Now, although he didn't work in the newsroom, he worked very closely uh, with its journalists on a daily basis. Thanks for meeting us today, John. What did you think when you read about Catherine O'Donnell's case? I have to say, uh, I was delighted uh, to see, finally see somebody stand up to John Witherow and Times, the Times uh, newspaper uh, in court. Uh, so it, I, I think it's phenomenal. So you worked there for 15 years and did any, of, did any of what Catherine said ring any bells with you? Yeah, I mean, first I didn't work there. I worked uh, remotely. Um, I was a subcontractor, uh, so I didn't work in the newsroom, but I was working directly uh, at the instruction of uh, editors and journalists within the newsroom. Um, so I was aware of the climate of fear that existed, um, how Witherow led from the top and drove a scooping type agenda. He was constantly greedy for stories. I think um, his journalistic style is reflected in the way that the Times can be viewed now as having been diluted have uh, been turned into a sensationalist newspaper uh, very much in the mould of the Sunday Times. Uh, he's a man who has yeah, diluted the newspaper. So John, when you were a private investigator, did you ever feel there was bias in the stories that you were told to investigate? Uh, what I will say is that the atmosphere was very much that of a barrack room or um, a boys public school um, weakness was preyed upon so we targeted uh, in any institution we targeted weakness uh, almost like a predator so uh, there was 
a lot of ganging up, whether it be on the Conservative Party in the late 90s uh, that was about to be elected out, uh, or it was the newly incumbent Labour Party of the late 90s, early noughties. Uh, there was a constant uh, and prevailing uh, move to, to, to look for weakness and to jump on it, almost like a, like a, like a lion on the, on, on the prairie. Some people have claimed that the, the headlines in the Times have been sensationalist, have been anti-trans, have been anti-Islam and have been you know, picking on minorities during John Witherow's editorship. I can only opine as a bystander um, and I think anyone who reads the Times or looks at the Times will see that there has been a dilution of the editorial um, integrity of the newspaper because it's it's become sensationalist um, the anti-islamic stories um, the certainly anti-trans uh, bias i would say that witherow has a long list of minorities that he um, serves very poorly there's been a, a considerable pickup on Twitter, as you might expect, particularly from the trans community uh, who are angry uh, and have been angry at the way that the uh, trans issues have been represented in the Times. There have been uh, 320 odd negative trans stories or perceived as negative trans stories in the Times in the past year, that's virtually a story a day. So understandably, the trans community is following this story with, with great interest. Well, John Witherow, the editor, he says that editorial standards are very high at the Times and uh, he's very story driven. You know, he's known as Mr. News. You know, he's a, a very uh, persistent and rigorous journalist. And he did say when he, when he gave evidence that uh, some words in the Times are bound to be inaccurate. I mean, I, you know, I would sympathise with Witherow's position that if 60,000 stories a year are going out, that he can't see every word. But it's certainly true that the buck stops with him. Uh, and uh, within the management structure, um, every word should be checked by the series of, 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 of executives underneath him within the pyramid. Um, and with particularly sensitive areas such as uh, minority issues uh, in the fractious times we live in, I think that he has a responsibility to check this stuff assiduously. And it's clear from the, what is perceived to be bias by the various communities, particularly uh, notably the uh, anti-Islamic sentiments and the anti-trans sentiments that have been raised, um, that the communities, the minority communities, uh, are upset with his, his editorial decisions. Kathleen O'Donnell cannot talk to Byline Investigates at the moment because her case is ongoing. However, we will update you whenever we get more information in. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel as it helps us report on this case and other investigations that we're doing. Thanks very much.